For nearly half a century, Voyager 1 has been traveling farther than any human-made object in history. Silently drifting through the darkness, it slipped beyond the reach of the sun and into a region humanity once believed was almost completely empty. This spacecraft was never meant to last this long. Built in the early 1970s, Voyager 1 was designed for a mission expected to span only a few short years. Its memory was measured in kilobytes. Its data was stored on magnetic tape. Its computers were primitive even by the standards of their time. And yet, more than 45 years later, Voyager 1 is still alive. Still listening. Still transmitting. Still teaching us. What it is telling scientists now is deeply unsettling. Voyager 1 has reached a boundary no spacecraft was ever meant to study directly. A region where the influence of our sun fades and the vast forces of the galaxy take over. And the data returning from this distant frontier does not fully match our models, predictions or expectations. Tonight, we explore what Voyager 1 discovered. Why scientists once struggled to explain its findings. And how a single, aging probe is forcing humanity to rethink the nature of interstellar space itself. Voyager 1 is a spacecraft that should have gone silent decades ago. It was born in an era of slide rules, room-sized computers, and fragile electronics. NASA never imagined it would still be operating into the 21st century, let alone delivering discoveries that challenge modern astrophysics. Its journey began with a rare cosmic opportunity. Once every 176 years, the giant planets align in a way that allows a spacecraft to steal energy from their gravity. Voyager 1 was launched to exploit this alignment, slingshotting from Jupiter to Saturn in a precise gravitational ballet. That choreography changed everything. Voyager revealed violent volcanoes erupting on Io. It uncovered cracked, shifting ice on Europa, hinting at oceans hidden below. It showed us that the solar system was not static or peaceful, but alive, active, and unpredictable. When its planetary mission ended, Voyager 1 should have stopped. But it didn't. Instead, it kept going. Leaving the planets behind. Leaving the sun's familiar influence. Becoming humanity's first true interstellar scout. For decades, scientists debated a fundamental question. Where does the solar system actually end? The answer was thought to be the heliosphere, a vast bubble inflated by the solar wind. This bubble was believed to form a clear, protective boundary between our sun and interstellar space. Models predicted a sharp transition. A clean edge like crossing from one ocean into another. Voyager 1 was expected to detect a dramatic shift. A sudden change in magnetic field direction. A clear signal that the sun's domain had ended. But that is not what happened. As Voyager 1 approached the heliopause, it detected something unexpected. Plasma density increased dramatically, nearly 80 times higher than before. Yet the magnetic field refused to behave as predicted. Instead of changing direction, it remained strangely aligned with the sun's magnetic field. This was no minor anomaly. It meant the boundary of our cosmic home was not a clean edge at all. It was layered. Entangled. Dynamic. Voyager 1 revealed that the heliopause behaves less like a solid wall and more like a turbulent shoreline where two vast environments collide, overlap, and mix. Solar and interstellar forces do not separate neatly. Magnetic fields fold and reconnect. Charged particles swirl, overlap, and exchange energy. Voyager drifted through regions where solar influence lingered long after it should have vanished. Even as interstellar plasma dominated its surroundings, Decades of theory were suddenly in question. Scientists were forced to confront an uncomfortable truth. 
We had misunderstood the sun's protective bubble. The heliosphere is not static. It is alive. Restless. Chaotic. If the heliosphere is porous and turbulent, then our solar system is far more exposed than we once believed. Galactic cosmic rays, high-energy particles born in distant supernova explosions, can penetrate deeper into the sun's domain. They interact more intensely with solar particles. They reach regions once thought well shielded. This matters. Because the heliosphere is not just an abstract concept. It is Earth's shield. It protects planets, spacecraft, and life itself from the full force of the galaxy. Voyager 1's data forces scientists to rethink long-term space travel. Radiation exposure. The survivability of future interstellar missions. And even the likelihood of life elsewhere in the universe. Voyager 1 did not merely cross into interstellar space. It crossed in a way no model predicted. It reached the heliopause at nearly the same distance later measured by Voyager 2, despite entirely different solar conditions at the time. This shattered the idea of a simple, rhythmic heliosphere that expands and contracts smoothly with the Sun's activity cycle. Instead, Voyager revealed something more unsettling. Beneath large-scale stability hides intense small-scale chaos. Scientists now compare the heliopause to a shoreline. Not a wall. Voyager detected twisted magnetic fields. Rapidly fluctuating particle densities. Wave-like structures that advance and retreat, colliding and reforming. The sun does not carve a perfect bubble through space. It negotiates continuously with the galaxy around it. As Voyager 1 pushed deeper into interstellar space, galactic cosmic rays surged. Outside the heliosphere, these particles travel largely unimpeded, capable of damaging electronics and biological tissue alike. Inside the heliosphere, the Sun offers only partial protection. This realization suggests that stable, life-friendly environments may be rarer than once believed. Planetary systems rely on stellar bubbles for long-term protection. And those bubbles may be fragile. Perhaps most remarkable of all is that Voyager 1 continues to function. Its instruments are decades old. Slowly being powered down, one by one. Yet still delivering data that reshape astrophysics. Many of the scientists studying its signals today were not even born when Voyager launched. The spacecraft has become a living time capsule, bridging generations of human knowledge. Voyager revealed that the heliosphere is not a neat balloon. It is stretched and distorted by the sun's motion through the Milky Way. Our solar system plows through interstellar material. Creating pressure, turbulence, and magnetic draping on one side while trailing a chaotic wake on the other. Interstellar space itself is not uniform. Plasma densities fluctuate. Particle flows shift. Magnetic turbulence varies with time and location. Voyager is sampling the fossil remains of ancient cosmic catastrophes, shockwaves from supernovae that exploded millions of years before Earth even formed. Even the termination shock, where the solar wind slows dramatically, defied expectations. Instead of a sudden wall, Voyager observed a complex, punctuated slowdown where solar particles leak outward through intricate interactions. One of Voyager's most profound revelations is this duality, local chaos. Large-scale stability. Order and disorder coexist naturally across astronomical distances. Ironically, Voyager was never designed for this mission. Its instruments were built for planetary science, not interstellar physics. Yet today, it remains our only direct messenger from beyond the Sun's influence. Its signals arrive as faint whispers across billions of miles. Requiring patience, trust, and calculations written decades ago. 
Beyond a certain distance, control becomes an illusion. Voyager now operates almost entirely on its own, silently navigating a chaotic frontier no human has ever seen. And perhaps the most profound realization of all is this. Crossing the heliopause was not an ending. It was a beginning. Interstellar space is not empty. It is active. Turbulent. Unforgiving. The heliosphere is not a perfect shield. Boundaries do not separate cleanly. Chaos and order coexist. And all of this comes from a probe built with 1970s technology, surviving on fading power. Whispering truths across impossible distances. Voyager 1 is humanity's most distant messenger. And it is telling us that the universe beyond our sun's protection is far more complex, and far more alive, than we ever imagined. Exploration, it reminds us, is not just about distance. It is about endurance, preparation, and humility. And right now, Voyager 1 is still out there, quietly rewriting what we thought we knew about the edge of our cosmic home.